Okay, let's get started. Uh, the first technology we're going to set up is Expo, obviously with React Native. And we're actually going to pick Expo because I think it's the best place to start, especially for a project like this to get up and running. It handles a lot of the complexities around React Native. And if you ever need to do a native module, you can always export from Expo itself to get React Native. It's not quite the same of going bare React Native. So I know there's a lot of conversation of which one you should start with, a regular React Native app or Expo. And I think the the decision right now is easy um, with Expo, and especially with their documentation. It's super easy to get up and running. And we're going to use a lot of the native modules from Expo as well, which under the under the cover is React Native, and under that is Swift um, for iOS and then Java for Android. So first we're going to do, we're going to go to the docs in Expo, <clears throat> which we're going to go to quite a bit here. And the first thing you have to do is do MPX Expo install. So we're going to go to our terminal, and we're just going to create a new folder. So we're going to go into code, and then we're going to do MPX Expo create latest, and we're going to name it TikTok. And we're going to let this download. So with the native Expo uh, installation, it'll add a lot of the libraries that we're going to need anyway. Um, in a regular app, you'd have to download the Expo icons, you'd have to do Expo router, you'd have to do Expo navigation if you use that instead. Um, so a lot of this comes with it already pre-installed. And so we're going to CD into TikTok. And then we only have a couple commands, npm run Android, npm run iOS, and npm run web. So we're going to run iOS. And we're actually going to open up in the code editor. Wrong command. Now we can see on the right hand side we have the regular template with an example of tabs and we have an explore tab. So I forgot I didn't set up cursor, so we're going to Up a new window. And then we're gonna open a folder and we're gonna find our new TikTok. Okay, there we go. And so the way I'm gonna do this course is um, we're literally starting from scratch. I know a lot of the videos that I've done in the past and a lot of people do, they skip, they do a lot of copy and pasting and they skip some crucial steps and they also skip the errors. I thought it was cleaner in the past to just skip the errors, but in reality, everyone runs across errors, so it's nice to see them and then figure out how to debug them in the moment. So we're gonna do that as well. And so that might slow down some of the parts of this tutorial, but I think it'll be super helpful in the long run as well. And so we can see a bunch of the files that I created by default. We have assets, we have components, we have constants, hooks, and scripts, reset project. So a lot of the stuff that we, we don't actually need, and I think it's gonna overly complicate it for right now, um, so one thing, we're going to keep some of them, but most of it, we have the tab bar icon. We're going to remove everything from the folders that we don't need. So scripts, reset project, we don't, we're not going to need to reset the projects. So we're going to move that one to the trash. Constants, colors, we're going to move that one to the trash. Hooks, we are actually going to use hooks, but not these ones. Uh, so I'm going to move those to the trash. Yep, it's going to break some stuff. Components, navigation, external link, hello wave. We don't need any of the default stuff, but we're going to use that components folder in the future. Uh, let's see, we got hooks. Wait, is there nothing in the hooks folder? Or did we already delete that? Already deleted it. And we have layout. So every app needs an index and a layout, and then we have tabs. So we're, in TikTok, we're actually going to use those tabs as well. So maybe we'll keep that and just make it a super simple component. And so we can see theme provider, default theme, dark theme. We're going to remove this. Use fonts. We're going to keep it. Splash screen, use effect. Um, no, I don't want the dictionary. I actually 
like importing React from React and explicitly doing React dot. That's just a preference. I'm going to change that theme provider. We don't need. So right now we just have one stack screen with the tabs and the not found page. And we'll come back to it eventually. But um, because React or because Expo Router kind of uses a file based routing system, um, that's why the naming of these files in the app folder are super important. Every folder needs a underscore layout and an index file. So that's why you can see app has layout and index is implied here because it's the first one. But if you have another folder, we have tabs, we have layout, and then we have index as well. Sorry, that was the other folder. Uh, and then this is another page within that layout. So actually we can remove that one as well. So let's see, we have layout, remove the color scheme. HTML. So this is for if you were to build it for web. And let's just change this to view. And then text. And then import. Nope. From. I'm trying to use AI, but. It doesn't always understand what I'm trying to do. So text link, no, text doesn't have a type. So this is a not found screen, so it's not that important, but I just want to remove some things that we're not going to be using, and also styles. So we're going to actually going to use native win styles. So we'll come back to this as well. So this is a super basic component of a not found screen. So that's done. HTML, we don't have to touch that one. Layout, this is already super basic. We have stack screen for the tabs and then for the not found page. And then we have some errors here, of course. So let's just do a view, text home, and then import. From React Native and get rid of all these other components. Here we go. And then, so we got our tabs. I'm going to remove some of this as well. Honestly, we'll probably end up adding some of this back, but I want to be able to explain each thing and what it's doing. So we'll come back to it. Okay, so we have tab bar tint color, tab bar icon. I guess we'll add back icons actually. Um, you know what? No, we'll come back to this one because I have a section just on adding icons. So right now we'll just have. So now we'll just have text. So we can see a very super simple home tab icon, but at least it gets rid of all the errors and uh, it's clear what each is doing and what we're gonna add to each file. So we have assets, which we're not really gonna touch much. This is the default font with images, which we can change to the actual TikTok icon later. Components is empty, hooks is empty, node modules, app JSON, we have our File, TikTok, and we're going to come back to this one. We have our plugins, Expo Router, Package JSON, and README, which I'll delete as well because I want to add our own README. Let's do it in this window instead. <laughs> Run. Actually, we could do MPX Expo Start Dash C which is the same thing as npm run iOS. Uh, the dash C is to clear the cache. I feel like I have a habit of just always clearing the cache because I've run into problems in the past where you're, you're hitting your head against the wall and you don't really know what's going on. And it's just the fact that, uh, that uh, you didn't clear your cache. Okay, then we have, let's see this error. Too many screens defined route explorers extraneous. Oh, did we not delete explorer? 
No, we did not. Okay. So if we reload, we should be good to go. So now we just have one page, it automatically goes to the home page, the tabs. We only have one tab with no icons. And there we go. So this is the project we're going to keep on adding on to.